whatever you ask in my name, I will do that the Father may be glorified in the Son. And we wonder, you really mean that? What do you mean by whatever? I don't think it works like that. That's, our, that's the way we read this verse. What do you mean, whatever? What God, the Son, Jesus Christ, has done by ending this verse by saying, this is all that the Father may be glorified, is to make prayer radically God-exalting and God-centered. And that's the flavor, the guardian around the word whatever. Because you can all think of prayers that you could ask that won't glorify God if they get answered. I'll give you a few. God, please make me more important than you are. God, please wipe the Jewish people off the planet, or black people, or white people. Choose your hatred, but support me in it, God. Because I hate these people, and I want them killed. Try that one. Or, God, please make pornography godly. One day a week. Or, God, please blind the IRS to all the times that I've lied on my tax returns. Or, God, please put my competitor out of business. And on and on and on, prayers that you can think of to stick in whatever wouldn't glorify him. I don't think he needed to qualify the word whatever at the front end because the whole point of the back end of the verse comes like a truck saying, I'm guarding this word whatever here. This is all about my glory here. Every prayer you make should have the implicit meaning, hallowed be thy name. If you pray a prayer and do not implicitly mean, hallowed be your name, it's not a God-honoring prayer. Even if it's, please help me find a parking place. I'm okay with that. If you're on task with the mission to glorify God. 